Hello. In this video, we are going to learn some simple missing value imputations using the R programming language. For that, consider the problem. We have a data set of marks of 10 students in mathematics and it happens that the, da that the data set contains some missing values in it. Now all we have to do is to compute the mean of this data set, the median of this data set, the standard deviation of the data set and finally find out a technique to impute for the missing values using the mean imputation method or the median imputation method. So let us take this problem to the R Studio. I have already recorded the marks in a vector and named it as the math. Now let's so let's run it. Now understand one thing that to find the mean of this data set vector math if I simply write mean of math then it's going to return me an NA values for some obvious reason because this the we are, we are actually trying to find the mean of the data set that contains a couple of NA values and so the resultant values is of course going to be an NA value and the same case will follow for the median and the standard deviation So if I'm going so if I have to find out the mean, median, standard deviation or any other statistics for this data set, then this cannot be the way. One thing that I can do is that I can find the mean, median or standard deviation of all the values present in the data set by ignoring the NA values. And for that, let me introduce to you with a very special function called is.na. Now how it works is in this way we have the data set math and say in the square bracket we are writing is dot na uh, math. So all it is going to do is that it is going to extract only the missing values present that is the any values present in the data set math. See we have got two any values present in this data set and it extracts those two missing values. Now if I do the complement of it, that is if I write math within square bracket not is dot na of math and run it, it's going to give me all the values present in the data set except for the missing values. So in computing the mean, median and standard deviation for this data set, I'm going to use this data set which does not contain the missing values. So it is going to calculate the mean, median and standard deviation based on all the observations except the missing value. So let's let's do it. Mean of this subset divided of all the missing values. And see if we get the value 78.625. So this mean, the 78.625 is actually the mean of the rest of the values present in the data set and ignoring the missing values. Similarly we can calculate the median and we get 77 and we can also calculate the standard deviation we get 9.88. So this is how we can do it. The later, pro the later part of the problem asks us to do the uh, mean imputation or a median imputation. So the later prop the later part of the problem actually deals with the missing is actually the problem of missing value imputation. Now before we can do the missing value imputation, I want to create two objects, the math one and math two, and set it to the original data math. Uh, the reason behind I don't want this data to get be updated or overlap and so I create a new object so if I want to do any imputation any alternation and uh, any uh, editing then I will do it in these two data sets and this main data will be unaffected so let's start with the mean imputation In, imputation, in mean imputation, all that I'm going to do is that I'm going to set the uh, the missing values present in the data. Let's run it. Uh, the missing value present in the data math1 with 
the with the mean of the rest of the values present in the data and so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to set the missing values is dot na math one that gives the miss missing values inside the data math one and set it to the mean of the rest of the data not is dot na math one let's run it and so here we go let's call math one and see that if you recall that the mean of the data set was 78.625 and see the missing values actually got replaced by the mean values 78.625 and and the same goes for median imputation that in that case instead of mean we are going to use the median so let's get started with it median imputation so in now we are going to use the data set math 2 we are going to set all the NA values present in uh, math 2 to the median of all the other observations means all the not any observations present in math 2 so here we go let's call math 2 and see you can see that the any values now got replaced by the median of the rest of the values which is 77 so this is the way that we use we impute the mean, uh, mean imputation and median imputation method using the R programming language and here you also we have also learned a very important function is dot na which is of course going to be a great help to you in the future so thank you very much for watching hope you enjoyed and see you in the next video